It is KFI AM uh, 640. Handle, good morning, everybody. March 29th on a Friday. Uh, coming up at 8 o'clock, the push to tax the pot. We've often said, uh, you know what? Where it's legal, why don't you just tax it? It gets the bad guys out of the way, and the revenue can be astronomical. Well, maybe, maybe not. That's up at 8 o'clock. Now, bet you didn't know you've been sued. Not that you haven't been sued before. Actually, most people haven't been sued, is my guess. I've been sued a few times. Matter of fact, my entire career, when people ask, uh, Bill, uh, do you uh, have you appeared in court? And I say, absolutely. I've actually been in court five times as a defendant, never actually representing anybody. And which is what happens when you are as loud and obnoxious as I am and uh, engage in any kind of a business. But in any case, lawsuit time. I digress, of course. Here is what is going on. The High Speed Rail Authority has filed a lawsuit against all of us. And I love the title of the lawsuit. Usually, for example, if I sue Hoffman, it's William W. Handel versus Gary Hoffman. Gary, do you have a middle name? R. R. Gary R. What does that stand for? Richard. Richard. Gary R. or Richard Hoffman. That's how lawsuits are titled. Or in the case of a criminal trial, the people of the state of California versus uh, Gary Hoffman in terms of you're the respondent. Well, not the respondent. You're the defendant. In any case, let's move on and talk about the title of this lawsuit. And I love this. High Speed Rail Authority versus All Persons Interested. How do that work? Well, first of all, you have to have personal service. They can't personally serve everybody in the state of California. So when it is impossible to serve someone, uh, the... Plaintiffs can do it by publication, and that's precisely what happened here. It uh, The lawsuit will be published once a week for three weeks in five major newspapers, and that constitutes service in the state of California. And here is why the lawsuit is being filed. There is no question that once this starts going, Lawsuit after lawsuit will be filed on environmental issues, on uh, probably property, the eminent domain issues. I mean, just all of it. What this is doing, the High Speed Rail Authority versus all persons interested, is a preemptive strike. And that is to get all of the legal problems out of the way. Whatever legal issues you have, you being the people of the state of California, let's hear them now. Because after those legal issues have been litigated, you're done filing lawsuits, and we move ahead. Now, this has actually been done before. I'm sure you haven't heard of this, and it is so rare, but it does happen. For example, back in 2009, uh, the city did it, city of San Jose did it, before issuing bonds to expand the convention center. And they went ahead and sued the people of the city of San Jose, to get all of that out of the way. Uh, by the way, uh, even then, uh, the case ended up being tied up for a year uh, because a gadfly signed up to challenge it, and then the city won. Otherwise, it could be tied up for years. And believe me, we have more uh, in the state of California, we have more gadflies than you could ever, ever imagine. So how many people do you think are going to defend themselves or defend themselves on behalf of the people of the state of California. Because all of us have jurisdiction to go in. We're all parties now. One of the major issues we talked about during uh, DOMA and Prop 8, and one of the things that may actually be the crux of those lawsuits, is interested parties. You have to be an interested party. So those people that are against gay marriage, for example, aren't... They're not interested part. They may be interested, but they are not affected. And therefore, they may not have standing. That's going to be one of the legal arguments. Here, all of us have standing because all of us have been sued. Because this was a state proposition where the money 
was voted into $65 billion, were idiots, to uh, pay for this. I think it was $65 billion. Now, a couple of points I want to make up. And uh, point number one is only public agencies can use this uh, legal strategy. So you don't get to file a lawsuit against the world, for example. That doesn't work. You have to be a public entity. Uh, And I can't wait for this one. Here is one of the legal arguments that may very well be used. This may be one of the big ones, by the way. Because if you look at the the voting of the proposition, that's legal. And it's certainly constitutional. No one's going to argue that's unconstitutional. But here, here's the one that I love, this argument. Since voters approved the bonds in 2008, the project cost has grown. The scope of the future service has shrunk. Construction has been delayed. Projections say there will be fewer, fewer riders, which makes the original bond measure invalid, and I don't buy that for a moment, because the bond does not say, in the event that this amount of money is spent within this amount of time and uh, progress has to be made by this date and here is the progress, Other, otherwise the bond is invalid, otherwise we return all the money or we don't sell any more bonds or this measure is invalid, I don't think that appears. I don't think that appears. I think all we're doing is we voted in this much money, these tens of billions of dollars to build, to build this train to nowhere. For, well, actually from nowhere to nowhere. I think we're screwed. I think we're going to have that train. And if you want to go from Fresno to Castroville to count the sheep because you've gotten some governmental contract, you'll be able to get there at 120 miles an hour. By the way, Hoffman, you're the one that knows where it goes initially to initially. I don't pay attention to this. I think it's a Madeira uh, specifically, uh, Madeira to um, Pumpkin Center. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> I don't even know where Madeira is, by the way. Up near Stockton, ish. Okay, I think all I know is we're out of Fresno. There's Madeira wine. I know that. Isn't it? Madeira is in uh, Bishop or something. It's in Spain somewhere, isn't it? Madeira is between Fresno and Stockton. I feel better. I don't even know what... You don't know where Fresno is? No, I do know where Fresno is, and I do know where Stockton is. Mm -hmm. I just don't know anything in between. Fireball? Okay, I. you know, you're right. I stand corrected. Selma? The world-famous Fireball. Yeah, and Pumpkin Center is not a real thing, right? (laughs) Pumpkin Center is a real thing, yeah. It seriously is a real thing? Yes, if you ever drive up I-5, there's a little turnoff for Pumpkin Center. Pumpkin Center. That's That's not a a guy...